Northwood University is the most feared name in collegiate esports and Collegiate Rocket League is no different. Northwood is one of the top earning teams in all of Rocket League history, and that includes professional teams. With a roster of Lion Blaze, Hockey, and Buddy, three players playing at the pro level, this team is pants crappingly good. That brings us to November of 2022, the Collegiate Rocket League Fall National Championship, where the little Western Conference team that could, Columbia College, faced off against Northwood and won. This loss was Northwood's first time not winning a collegiate tournament since November of 2021. How did this happen? Well, here's the analysis of how Cam Cryptic and JD of Columbia College took down a collegiate dynasty. Like most series, we'll start with game one. The scoring got off to a pretty easy start here. Just a little tip from Buddy. All of Columbia starts to creep over and Lion Blaze does Lion Blaze things. Perfect pinch into the open net for 1-0. And now it takes a bit for Columbia College to get back in the flow of things. A couple minutes go by and then the star of the Western Conference representative, Cam, has his chance in the sun. Flick pass one and a lot of open space and a cannon of a flick over top Buddy to make it 1-1, only 95 seconds to go. Lion Blaze can also make effective plays on the defensive half. 45 seconds after Cam gets a first goal, he's looking for a second. Over top one, looking for a double. And not only does Lion Blaze get that save away, but the double tap and the pre-jump into Cryptic, which causes some commotion. Buddy lurking in the midfield, gets on the end of Hockey's pass and is there quicker than Cryptic, banging home the winner for game one. Game two is a lot more cagey on Aquadome, but inevitably you can see the cracks start to form for Northwood Columbia with an attack going. Will be it parried away initially, but you can see the pressure mounting. You can see everything at work. Inevitably the clear will come through, but this is what makes Columbia so good. Freeze frame right here. Cryptic has a lot to work with. They have JD in the corner, but more importantly, they have Cam fully boosted up on the sidewall, which he will gladly use. Sending a deep ball, Cam already off the ceiling, he like spikes it right back down to Cryptic and just barely wide. The creativity of Columbia only gets better. Cam is usually at the forefront of this and it's no different in game two. They're looking for revenge and they will eventually get that game winning goal. JD with a pinch up field. And Cam with the understanding that with two players retreating, Hockey is going to grab that corner boost from him and Buddy will have to retreat straight back to goal. But that leaves a wide open middle to take advantage of with JD and Cryptic to fill that void. Cam with the simple touch middle, goes for a demo. Easy path for Cryptic, 1-0, and that's how this game's gonna end. Game three, it's all tied here in the series, but this is why Northwood are champions. They can strike back. Buddy, going forward, gets a kick forward, bumps Cam out. But what's more important is what comes afterwards. Buddy might have cleared the way, but it was Hockey who initially missed, steals a boost, turns right on back on Cryptic's touch, and smacks it right down into the middle for Lion Blaze to finish. Unfortunately for Northwood, their lead lasts exactly until the next kickoff because JD is going back for boost. Cam dimes him a perfect lob off the corner, which JD promptly misses, but Northwood hits it a bit too far. Cryptic right back into JD, and that's an easy 1-1. Lion Blaze is one of the best 1v1 players in America. Cam is very much up there with him at times. He gets to show it in little bits like this, a 50 pass Lion. And instead of going for the open net as Buddy is trying to tempt him, just over the shoulder lies JD lurking for a pass. Cam's gonna dime him. Northwood is very quickly getting torn apart. And when it rains, it really does pour. Columbia's not done. They're just getting started here in game number three. Cam immediately to the air, sets up a flip reset, and it's not gonna go in, but it keeps some pressure because here comes Cryptic to the sky as Cam gets some boost. 50 comes right back out to him, plays a low 50, goes for a bump. Bye-bye, buddy. Really bye-bye, Northwood Cryptic for three. As if we didn't already know, Cam was feeling himself in this game. The fifth goal of the game and the final one to cap the victory starts with that man right there. Flip reset over top, Lion Blaze with a save, but it's JD with a top bins dimer to cap it off. Start of game four. Seems like Columbia's right back on track. Cam with a flip reset and all going to the corner will be met by JD. A powerful 50 will beat absolutely everyone. Cryptic's not rotating out until that's in. 
Northwood will eventually get back on the board, get some momentum. His Lion Blaze will start things off with a bit of deflection. Hockey, quick shot, and it's saved away. Can't even get that next one, Lion Blaze, but don't worry. We'll be right back into it. Columbia gets a little bit too eager on their pass out, right into Lion Blaze. Open air dribble, fakes underneath one, and dunks over top the second. Lion Blaze has his goal. Now he has to turn provider. A little bit of a loose ball, and Lion Blaze knows there's no one there to mark that high lob to the backboard. Not going to be able to get that shot, but that's okay. Because hockey is there to not only get the touch, but then fake it down. Button Buddy, go home number two. Things might be all over, but with 16 seconds remaining, it's never done until you got a little bit of insurance. Buddy, with a demo, leads the way for hockey. Be able to tap one in easy. Game four, we're right back in the swing of things. 2-2 in the series. Go to Wasteland to see who's going to lead in the series in Columbia, thinking it's going to be them. Monstrous 50 to the far side. Cryptic creeping along the backside, and then Cam just slapping it home after a great infield pass. Even though Cam gets the goal and Cryptic gets the assist, it's JD who deserves a stat for doing everything else. A 50 on one, a then attempted bump to disrupt hockey, and then slapping Buddy out of the way. Clears the path for Cam to get an easy one. JD showed on goal number one. Some bumps go a long way. Cam knows that better than most. Gets a little slap on Lion Blaze, and that's going to send him back. Discombobulated Lion Blaze knows he has to close that gap. He goes high to get the block, but Cam intelligently will go low, getting second for Columbia College inside 90 seconds. But let's be clear, this is not a walk in the park for Columbia. They're under a lot of pressure, and sometimes you need some miracles in the form of Cam, the pre-jump off the near post to get the save. Can't score every goal, but Northwood will be darned if they will be kept quiet for too long. Buddy, from his own corner with zero boost, gets a mid boost and immediately causes havoc with a brilliant pass. Pre-flip into the flick up, over top a defender, and into the net. You can really feel the pain from JD's cam, looking like they have a clean clear on this one as it goes a bit too far out, but the lob puts it where only hockey can reach. One more for the road. JD is forced into his own corner, but does just enough to get the touch away. Lion gets a weak one. Cryptic will find JD back up, who will then send it high for Lion Blaze to deal with. That ball is a stretch too far, but not for Cam. 3-1. That's how it's going to end. Columbia College is five minutes away from making history. Columbia is close, and they can smell it, and they're going to start off game number six like it. JD up over the top, and then don't trust anyone, not even your teammates, saving Cryptic shot, luckily Cam there to bury. Columbia going to get a second off within a minute as Cam will start an air dribble. Forces hockey in the air. JD will simply chase. Notice his buddy taking a bit too long, sends them to the Shadow Realm. Then it's a simple enough job for Cryptic to beat out Lion Blaze and put his laces behind a laser for 2-0. Buddy and Hockey can also combine well. Saki will take a 50 at his midfield line. Buddy will immediately pick apart the defense to find Hockey, who then goes low on the 50, and that's the only way past JD. Not too long after Northwood gets their number one, they might be able to get two. Hockey's going to find Lion Blaze, combining for three-person passing play. Cryptic has a chance to clear this one out, but then Buddy notices that backboard looking mighty lonesome. He serves up a pass and gets an easy putback for number two. The end of regulation sees a lot of Northwood pressure and a lot of Columbia saves are required to keep them out. None greater than this one from JD on the goal line, almost at zero seconds to force overtime. Sometimes in grand final, you just got to put the ball in a weird position. Cryptic into the ceiling. Hockey can't read, and Cryptic will go over the top. Buddy with a partial save, which leads to Cam. Surging forward from the midfield with a chance to go past three defenders and score a goal to deal the first grand finals loss in over a year to Collegiate Rocket League's greatest ever team. Buddy, Cam! Everyone's trying to kill him! Columbia closing down! 2022 champions and look at them popping off the excitement across their faces they can't believe it and they defeated the juggernauts in northwood blue vindication for being removed from the june world championship